No, wait a minute. I gotta try that again. <laughs> take, take three. Take, take three. <laughs> take three. Welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven, and today we're gonna be looking at a module. We focus here, an LM2596S. I got a request to create information on how to use this to charge a three cell battery pack that does not have a BMS. Get this plugged in and then I can show you how to adjust this module. On these modules, this first pot is to adjust the voltage. The capacitor here shows 35 volts, but it's recommended that you only use it for 30 volts. Gives kind of like a five volt headroom. This last pot here is to adjust the current that you want to charge your battery at. What this middle pot does is like when you're charging your battery and say you're going to charge it at one and a half amps. And then as it gets charged up, that amperage is going to drop. 600, 500, 400, 300, 150 milliamps and zero. Then you know it's charged. You can't adjust it before you use it. You have to actually be charging your battery and then when the amperage falls down close to zero then you can turn this to make the light come on to tell you that it's charged even when you adjust this and it tells you that you're charged even if it's down to 100 milliamps or 50 milliamps this thing is still putting out power it does not cut off the power now there was a lot of confusion i've seen in comments people were asking if this actually cuts the power but no it does not I've never even used this thing. I don't even know why they put it there. But what you really need to focus on, this is the voltage, this is the current. All right, so let's adjust this to 4.2 volts for an 18650 battery. Because even though this is three batteries in series, we have to do this manually to charge this pack, so that means one battery at a time. So that was the purpose of this video, to show people how to do that. But now what I'm going to do here, this is how I charge batteries. But I know a lot of people say that's way too much, but that's just how I do it. I'm not here to tell anybody how many volts they should charge a battery to. You just don't want to go over 4.2. But a lot of people go to 4.1, if I can get this thing in here. But So I'm just going to take it down to 4.1. So now we need to set the current that we want to charge at. So now, I will turn my meter off, just to be safe. Turn it to 10 amps, and turn it to 10 amps on your meter. Most meters have a 10 amp. And this one has a milliamp, but use the 10 amp one. The red goes in a 10 amp, black one goes in your common. Turn your meter on. It's showing 600 milliamps. Now, if you turn it clockwise, you'll be able to go up an amp, but you won't be able to go higher in amps than what you're putting into it. So, if you're only putting in 1.5 amps into this board, that's all you're going to be able to get out of this. This is a buck converter, not, not a boost. But I'm going to take it down. To 500 milliamp because that's what I charge at uh, a lot of people go 1c but I don't like doing that but you do whatever you want to and 500 milliamps for a single 18650 it makes me happy okay so now we've got the voltage set and we have the current set so now turn this off unplug this set it out of the way okay so this is how we're going to charge the battery pack now I'm going to get around to how to build this because I made a little I made a little pictorial because trying to show all of these wires can because the bigger your pack gets the more series you get then these wires start getting tangled up I did a drawing that I'm going to be showing you here in a minute okay but now this is the black main black this is the main positive okay but now I'm going to show you how to charge this manually. 
I mean, it doesn't matter which. You can start with cell one or two or three. It doesn't matter. I'm turning my power supply off while I'm plugging this up. But you would go with your negative on your pack. Just be careful when you do this, though. You definitely don't want to be shorting anything out. So just and hook your positive up to the positive of that battery. As long as you charge each cell individually, you're going to get a your pack's going to last a lot longer. But you're basically acting like a BMS is what you are. Turn your power supply on. <clears throat> it is putting out almost 500 milliamp. I watch a meter and I wait for that to get down to zero. That way the battery is getting everything that it can take. Okay. Which is going to make it last, give you a lot more capacity for that charge. Okay. So let's just pretend that now our current has went down to zero. That cell is charged. What you want to do, make sure you unplug the battery completely, both sides. Okay, now you're going to do the second cell. So on this side, you want to reverse it. You want to start, you want to put your positive here. I don't want to get in the way of the camera. <laughs> but you put your positive here. Okay. Well, yeah. And then put your negative on this side because, and look, this is hooked up to cell number two. It's one battery. It's only charging one battery. Turn your power supply back on and it's up to 500 milliamp because these batteries are probably around, I think they're somewhere around 3.2 volts each. So they're not fully charged. So it's going to take every bit of that 500 milliamps until it probably gets around 4. Since I have it cutting off at 4.1, it's probably going to stay at 500 milliamps, probably close to 4 volts, and then it'll start maybe dropping a little bit. All right, so now turn it off again. Turn your power off of the module. This is the last, th the third cell in the series. Positive is on this side. And hook that positive up. Go over here and hook the negative up. Right like that. See? That's on that one whole cell. Just by itself. One cell by itself. Positive. Negative. So now we just turn it on again. And there you go. 500 milliamps. It's charging this battery at 500 milliamps. I was nervous about even making these tabs. Because I don't want to give the wrong message to people. You really shouldn't do that unless you know what you're doing because it is so... See how close that is? That is so easy to short that out. This is what I like doing. Okay, so let's turn this off because we're done with that now. Get yourself a hobby charger. This is how I like to do them now. When I build a battery pack, I put a BMS lead on it and the two mains. Once you get uh, your battery all put together and made, then you just plug it into the uh, BMS charger, the little hobby charger. And then you know you got it all hooked up correctly because you get all your voltage for all your uh, cells. And then you take your main leads and plug that in. I always do positive first and then negative. Okay, so, and then you go in to your charger, and if anybody has one of these hodas, you probably already know how to do this. And then you go up, battery type, lithium ion, cell voltage, cell count, 3S. And then we go down here, and we hit start task. So now it's charging, 500 milliamp. This charger it balances at the end. It charges the pack up to the correct voltage and then it balances it at the end. So that is how you do it that way. So now I'm going to stop this. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this diagram and you can just, uh, if I remember, I might, I don't know if I can put this in a, 
I'm new at this. This is my first t time on YouTube. My first appearance. If you haven't figured it out already. <laughs> but anyway, this is that pack that, that I just showed you how to charge without having a BMS. So, but I thought a visual might be better for, and then you could always screenshot, maybe capture a, a image out of this video. Pause it and capture an image. Um, but this is your first sale right here, number one. And the negative side, the negative side of that battery will be your main negative out. Okay? Now, on your BMS lead, there will be a black. And if you're using it for full, for three series setup, there will be one black wire and three red ones. And the black wire goes to the first cell's negative side, along with the main negative out. Okay? And the number one red one... The first red one after the black one is that goes to the same number one cell to the positive side. The second red wire would be the second cell in the series. And that one will go this way down here and around and up to the second cell's positive side. Okay. Then the third red wire, number three will go to the third cell in that series. And in this series, it will be the last cell. So number three, positive. And also on that last cell, you have the red coming out, the main power, main positive going out from the number three cell. So that's how you do that. And I don't know, but I hope this made sense. And I hope the visual was a way better... Uh, representation instead of trying to uh, see all where all these wires go it just makes it hard for representation when you're trying to show someone how to build it BMS's are there for a purpose and that is to maintain the life of your battery your cells it is not hard for you to become that BMS like I just showed you but make sure that when you charge these without a BMS on them you just charge each cell individually you do not have to take the packs apart. You can do it while it's all made together. And that way, you'll have a perfectly balanced battery pack without the need of a BMS. The only thing is, I can promise you, when you do that for the first time, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, never again. Do a search for hobby chargers. And you can get hobby chargers pretty inexpensively. I'm so glad that you're here, and I hope you got something from this. And if I messed up, please let me know in the comments that I messed up, and I will correct it. I'm new at this. This is my very first appearance on YouTube. Leave anything down in the comments that you would like to see me do. I'm going to make another video in the next couple of days that's going to address everything that I'm about, what I stand for, and where my goal is to go with this channel take care take care of each other and please please try to find somebody to make laugh 